Hello, absolutely nobody. It's Fow up here. Welcome back. Day 41, seven days to die on the PlayStation 4. Um, so, well, uh, where you left me, I was coming back from the derelict city that's just south of us. I just picked up a, um, a drop crate and done some a little bit of scavenging for scrap. And while um, during the night, I had a pretty um, uneventful night, um, zombie wise. But I have done a little bit of building, so I'll show you what I've done, and I'll tell you the plan for today's episode. So while you were gone, I built this walkway. Railings on each side because I kept falling off. Um, a staircase that comes up. And then I've extended this um, platform out to from the barrels below. So that's where we are. I also reinforced a little bit of more steel around the edges of the um, the main building. And I hit the um, the bottom pillars with concrete. I'll go around and show you in a second. Um, I also have started to smelt all of my iron down into forged steel. So I will end up with around about 250, let's say, um, which will do me 25 upgrades. So it's not, you know, 250, wow, that's a lot. It's not, it, you need so much of this stuff. So I've got 13 minutes 20 left here and I've got 27 minutes left in here. So that's loads, plus I'm smelting down some clay as well. So hopefully you know, that'll, that'll work. Um, in fact, if I've got any brass or anything else I can smelt down at the same time. Um, I'm also building enough material for another mini bike as well. Um, it's always good to have a spare just in case you die somewhere miles away. You can throw together a quick spare. Um, but it doesn't look like I've got any materials I can burn down for um, for lead or anything like that. So, okay. Yeah, no worries. So, in today's episode, my plan is what I'll get rid of my nail gun. I don't need that. I've made this kind of my consumables um, crate so I can put my um, my tool set in here. So, I've got my standard my standard um, stuff that I carry. My axe, my pick, my crossbow, my pistol, a knife, a wrench, a hammer, a shovel, sniper rifle, bullets, and ammo, and some... Um, health pack as well. So what my plan is to do is a while ago I marked out these two locations here. So I marked out this location here because I was driving past it and there was some um, potassium nitrate there. It's not so far away from my camp so I can go at that. And then um, a, l a few episodes ago now I found this cave system here which have which has loads of stalactites and stalagmites for potassium nitrate. So with the horde night coming tomorrow night um, I think I'm going to do it here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to lock and secure this place up as best I can, and um, close this door over here. I might destroy this brick. Um, I'm not sure yet, because if I destroy that, the whole thing might come down here. But I might destroy that so I'm on this and on this alone, um, and then I'll just fend them off from here. Ideally, I would like to put some railings around the outside so I can stand and snipe, because they will be under. So I'm not entirely sure how it's going to work. Um, I have had a thought of breaking down this middle uh, middle block as well, so I can see under. But we'll, we'll see. I mean, it's not it's not ideal, but it's a work in progress. So um, I'll have more thoughts and find out what I'm thinking um, about doing that. So I'll go down the ladder if I can get if I can get down. Um, and have I got fuel in my mini bike? Yeah, I've got enough fuel. I've got some in there as well. So I'll leave this open. As long as my door's closed, I should be quite safe. Um, and then we'll head towards that marker. <clears throat> Dig some potassium nitrate there. Um, if I see any coal on the way as well, I'll, di I'll, I'll take the coal. Now, if I wanted scrap, I could hit these. I don't know if I've shown you guys this before. More than likely have. We've been doing this for long enough now. But if you hit this, you get stone and scrap. And we do need a significant amount of scrap now. This is the thing that's going to be holding us back. And it's, you know, it's it's not one of these things you can get easily. Like uh, the sand and the um, the stone. You can't just stand in one place and hammer the ground for half an hour and pick up a thousand of each. Um, the scrap is something that actually takes a little bit of um, effort to get. Um, so we might do that at some point. But for the time being, any coal or any potassium we're going to get. 
If I just gone past that. Hmm. I think I've gone past that marker. It's a bit weird. Maybe I've collected this already. Oh, is that it there? Oh, there it is there. Okay. I thought it was bigger than that. I'm pretty sure I wouldn't have just marked that on the map for that little snippet of potassium. Or maybe I did. Right, where's my bike? It's next between these two trees. Um, well, there you go. So it turns out I marked on the map for two little snippets. Um, eight to 80s, 80s not kidding, but how do I remove that? How do I remove that? Remove waypoint. No. Remove that. How do I get rid of that? Can't figure out how to get rid of it. Okay, just ignore it. It'll go away. Okay, so. Um, we're going to head. We've got a few empty jars as well, so we might do some a little bit of digging for um, the snow. Because we can melt that down to make... Um, we can melt that down to make, take all that, to make water. But for the time being, we'll, we'll, we'll head on past these guys. But I might take them down. I could do with, I could do with the skill points, to be honest. Um, does he stand? No, he's recovered. Oh, they're doing a double, a pincer attack. One from each side. These guys are tough. How can it? How can I be a hundred degrees in the snow with literally a vest top on? That's one thing they really need to sort the temperature on this game. Where are you going? Oh no, he's going to hit me. Let's go for a body shot. Headshot when he's on the floor. So you know these guys are relatively tough. So you've got to be careful when taking them out. Um, nothing on you. Cool. Back, back to our mission. I know I get distracted a lot. So we're going to the cave system. We're going to dig out all the potassium from there, which should give us. I'm hoping close to a thousand. We'll see though. I can't resist hitting them. Sorry, zombies. Um, I'm wondering if we could probably do with some feathers as well. I'm seeing all of these. Um, seeing all of these is that potassium there? I'm seeing all of these things on the floor that I'm driving past and I'm thinking of uh, nests, sorry I could probably do with some feathers especially if it's horde night tomorrow oh, is he dead? he is now, what's this? is this cool? yeah, this is cool Feels awfully close to the screen that call. Um, here comes his body. What are you doing? They zigzag as well. I don't know if that's new. Ah, uh, ah! Oh, get out! I'm bleeding. It's lucky I always carry this stuff around with me, isn't it? Take a bullet to the head, sir. Sir Lumberjack. Here comes his mate as well. Right, I'm getting distracted. Um, we've got enough bullets, so we don't need to worry too much. But it would be nice to get a little bit more. We need to be careful not to actually fall into it. Right, here we go. So we know where our bike is. We can leave it here, and we're going to go into this cave system. And what we're going to do is we're going to hit these, and each one of these should be 40, I think. Yep, so we've got a lot of potassium here. Now, I don't know if they grow back or not. And I don't know either if we were to do some digging around here, whether we'd find some in the um, in the ground or whether it'd just be soil. But look at look at this. This one here. This one here is worth 40. While as you hit this one here, and it's, you know, massive, it's still only worth 40. What have I... Uh, so, it's, so it's only still in the ground, which, you know, that's absolutely fine. We're easily going to come away with enough potassium nitrate to um, fuel our weapons for a long time out of this cave. 
and I'm hoping as well. I don't know. It probably doesn't. But I'm wondering if the um, the caves respawn, because that would be quite handy. Because you know they are quite rare things to come across. Yeah, I mean you've seen how much. Wonder what a web does. Doesn't get you anything. Um, you've because you've seen how much of the um the map I've travelled, and I've, this is the first cave I've found. Um, so you know that's again an interesting fact maybe to somebody. Um, okay, so there's only a few more. We'll see how many we get. I think my maybe my estimate of a thousand might have been a little bit more too much. Probably half of that is more accurate. But again, that's still going to be 250 um, 9mm bullets. If we so wish to make that. Okay, and there's one more up here. And I probably should have eaten and drank before I left the place as well, because we're down to 3%. Three, three um, what's this? Dead body. Okay. Oof, server lag there as well. So there's the cave system emptied out. How many did we get? Well, I didn't think we'd get that much. 1,160. That is a good amount. So we need to match that in coal on the way back. Um, my guy is, or lady, is hungry and thirsty. So what we can do is I will shovel up some snow before we head. Um, as you can see, it's... It's it's quite it's not the easiest thing to get, but we really only need about twenty of them because um, it only takes one to fill a to fill a jar, and then you can boil it down. So if we get that's ten, get another ten more, maybe a few more, because I'm not sure how many empty jars we've got, and then that should replenish the water we're about to drink. Just a few more. I don't know. I don't know if it's just the way I'm sitting today, but the, everything looks awfully close on the screen. Um, yeah, 27 snow. That'll do. And I'm looking at all these. I mean, is that is that another cave system? Or is that just the back end of the cave system we just come from? Looks like that's the back end, and the front end's just over here. Yeah, back and front end. Oh, I missed some. I'll be having you, sir. Oh dear, fell down. Um, I think that's. I think that's. I think that's everything. We'll see. Right. Okay. So, you know, we drive past coal so much. It's untrue. We are very thirsty and almost starving now. Oh no! I did that the first time I met this. I am thirsty. Drink fluids. Okay. It's lucky we're only a few minutes away from our um, from our house. Now I don't think we need to do much fortification. I wouldn't. I would like to build some steel bars, but I don't think I've got enough um, to make it any any significant amount. So that's going to have to wait for the time being, which makes me think possibly. Um, you know, my base. I don't think it's ready. Shh, zombie shush. Um, I don't think my base is ready for a Horde Knight 42. So I might head back to my normal Horde house in the middle of that town um, for the next night. And I'm hoping that the, um, that the Horde Knight 42 is more <laughs> its more intensive than Horde Knight 35 because nothing happened in Horde Knight 35. Um, okay, so we're looking for coal. Got some rocks and there we go some coal. So we're looking at getting as much coal as we have potassium so we can um, make gunpowder back at the base. Now the coal is easy to come by so I don't expect to be digging for much longer. Um, I think I've got a bunch more at home anyway so I think, I think I've think i probably got enough and we're here anyway. Um, what's that? Oh you're kidding me, potassium right outside our front door. So. <laughs> Again, I think I do honestly believe I've picked the best place for a base. You know, it's minutes away from each of the um, it's minutes away from each of the the cities on our, on our mini bike, and the resources are so plentiful around here. I mean, you can see all the trees. In fact, before I go in, 
I might just go and knock down a couple of trees because I'm running out of wood for my forge and my um, uh, my campfire. So a little bit more wood will, wouldn't, would never do any harm. Unless you're the tree, of course. And as I said before, I am I am collecting the seeds you get from the tree, so I will I will replace these ones at some point when they get a little bit more sparse. Um, because we only take a few, you know, I think maybe three or four in the in-game days to grow to a, to a quite a decent size. And some more coal. So I'll take this coal. I'll take that tree in this coal, and then that'll be um, me going back to the base to do a little bit of building. Um, I might. In fact, you know what? You know what we'll do. Night forty-two. We will. We will stay. I was going to take that tree away. We will stay at the base. This base here. I will um, put a bunch of hay down so I can jump down um, from my from my main, from my um, new base. And then what I will do is I will fight them outside. Might be a bit of fun. So I'm going to make a whole lot of shotgun stuff for close range. I'm going to make um, a whole lot of 10 mil, I think. We'll see what I can make. Um, that way we can actually do some fighting outside, which is, you know, quite an exciting thing to do. Um, so, taskbar then. Close the door, <laughs> or the wood wall. I really need to do something with that. And upstairs. Yeah, so if I put a bunch of... If I, if I go here for the time being, shoot them. I mean, they'll, they'll go under me, so I won't be able to see them. But if I lay down some hay... I'll be able to make an escape route, so I'll be able to jump off here onto the hay. I'll need to make hay first. How do you make hay? That's a good question. Hay bale. Okay. Yeah, we've got loads of that, so we can do a quick. Sorry, I've got to scratch my ear. So you can hear that. Um, I've got to sc scratch my ear. I've got. I'll dig. I'll take some plant fibers up. I'll make some hay bales so I can jump down um, quite safely. And we'll do some fighting outside, um, which should be actually a little bit more fun than hiding in a building. Um, the only problem is, it's so difficult to aim on the PlayStation. Oh dear. I should have gone to sneak, really. Is he, is he dead? I'm hunted, so he's not dead. Don't get up on my behalf. Right, cool. Yeah, I'm feeling quite happy about this actually. Um, but as I say, the pole be under here attacking there, so it's not not ideal. But again, it's all it's all just an experiment, isn't it? Right. So what am I doing first? I am taking all the coal and all the nitrate, and I'll stick this into my workbench and I will craft loads of gunpowder. 660. I mean that's awesome. I've still got a whole load of coal as well. Uh, I'll put the coal back in here along with that one. I don't know why. I, where, where on earth did I get one potassium from? Um, so the coal can go in there with that. I've got some bullet tips. Do I have iron? I haven't got any iron. Sorry, I haven't got. I've got lead, so I can make 246. I'll ditch 400 in here, 500 in there. I'll make a few more bullet tips. I'll max out my bullet tips. <sighs> I wish I could make some more casings, but I don't have any brass. I've got 10 brass. So I can make 10 casings, I suppose. 10 casings. Okay. A uh, bit of inventory. So, okay, that sounds good. So, a bit of inventory management. I will make the hay bales off camera, and I will bring you guys back on the morning of day 42, where we'll do a little bit more fortification of our site. Um, see what thoughts we have about how to make it a little bit better, so we can actually attack them. And then, um, and I'll bring again. I'll bring you back night of 42 and we'll do some outside hunting so I'll probably just be crafting 
for the rest of the night and day I'll just be eating some food, crafting some um, some ammo for my weapons and deciding what I'm going to do with the base outside. So again, thanks for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Take care.